many thanks for staying on News 360. It's also streaming live on our website, tv3network.com. Top on our bulletin tonight, the Greater Accra Regional May Day celebration was nearly marred when some workers protested over limited space at the parade grounds at the Tema Sports Stadium. I took the intervention of the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Nilai Afutiagbo, and the police to restore order. Activities came to a halt at the Tamaspor Stadium for some time until authorities stepped in to control the crowd. The Greater Accra Regional Minister and the police had a difficult time controlling the situation. The march passed, began with several workers, both private and public, taking part. Yours truly. TV3 staff were in their element. The Secretary of the Trades Union Congress, Na Ayele Sechi, commended workers for their selfless role in building and shaping the economy of the country. She asked government to heed to the cry of workers, adding, government must fight hard to retain state property and not to privatize them. We also looked at issues that are worrying workers. One of them is the privatization of ECG. We pointed to the fact that AVRL was brought into the country. Nothing much came out of it. You know, they parked out and went. And now uh, ECG is being given to a private uh, uh, company. We're just pointing government to earlier examples that have taken place. So they must be cautious in privatizing any state entity. She again said, the role of workers in ensuring a peaceful election in Ghana should not be underestimated. A prisoner receives one CD 80 pesos as feeding fee. It's woefully inadequate. But we are also saying that the fee to be increased, their feeding fee. Because what do you buy with one CD 80 Ghana CDs today? Greater Accra Regional Minister is me, Laye Afute Akbo. To congratulate all workers of Ghana for your hard work and immense contribution towards the development of this country. I wish to call on all stakeholders, including the Electoral Commission, to exert much effort towards achieving a violent-free election. 